We have seen it all. More and more extreme weather events, endangered species fighting for their existence, people losing their traditional way of life, and our forests and peatlands disappearing. The UN estimates that since 1990, forests globally have decreased by 300 million hectares, and this destruction has led to a major calamity, the release of huge amounts of greenhouse gas emissions that contribute to climate change. With the third largest forested area in the world, Indonesia's forests and agriculture are believed to account for the majority of its greenhouse gas emissions. Managing economic development while preserving the environment presents a major challenge in a country where millions of people rely on the land for their livelihood. Despite this, Indonesia has pledged to cut emissions by 29% below business as usual levels by 2030, and if international assistance is provided, by up to 41%. However, greenhouse gas emissions have traditionally been difficult to quantify especially those released from agriculture, forestry, and other land uses in a country as large and diverse as Indonesia. So developing new technologies to measure emissions is going to be vital in the fight against climate change. The INCAS is a big data platform for monitoring net greenhouse gas emissions in the land sector. It uses a combination of the best available satellite and ground-based forestry data taken from across the entire country. The data is analyzed by an emissions modeling team to determine annual changes in carbon stocks in the landscape. From these changes, greenhouse gas emissions released into the atmosphere and carbon removed from the atmosphere due to new forest growth are measured. The difference between the two shows the total amount of greenhouse gas emitted by the land-based sectors in Indonesia. These results are then sent to emissions reporting authorities. The information can then be used to meet international reporting requirements and support informed decision-making on how best to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and more sustainably manage Indonesia's landscapes. Managed by the Ministry of the Environment and Forestry, the development phase is being led by the Research Development and Innovation Agency. The INCAS also uses satellite data from Indonesia's National Institute for Aeronautics and Space. The Center for International Forestry Research, C4, which is based in Indonesia, is supporting the development phase of the INCAS in partnership with the Australian government. The first national results produced by the INCAS in 2015 include an estimate of greenhouse gas emissions and removals from Red Plus activities on all of Indonesia's forests and peatlands annually. And as INCAS develops and grows, so will the vital greenhouse gas data needed by Indonesia to implement policies that will preserve its forests and meet its goals to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Thank you.